Hey friends, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands On Learning. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about how I am teaching addition to my pre-K and kindergarten students. So the activities I'm gonna show you are activities we are doing for an introduction to addition. And these are activities that you can do with your students as well. I like to teach hands-on. And when I teach hands-on, I like to teach kids, especially in math, the why of how we do things. So basically these activities are going to be able to show the kids physically how we add and why we add. Okay, so if you're interested in seeing these activities and maybe trying them out with your students, let's get into it. Okay, so this first activity here is actually just a counting activity that I have turned into an addition activity for my students. So this is called Count to 10 Racing Fun. It's from my Hands On to Learn preschool curriculum. And this activity, um, by the way, you can get this activity separately from the curriculum if you don't have the curriculum. Um, but this activity is just supposed to be for counting, but we're gonna use it for addition as well, okay? So um, what the kids do is they take you know, a racing strip and they all have different numbers on them. So let's start with two, just to kind of be easy. And what they would normally do is just count. It comes with these little race cars so they can put them on here and they would count one, two, okay? But with addition, I'm going to have them take two cards. So let's do that one here and let's add. So let's do two cars plus three cars. So then they're going to put one, two, three here. And then we're going to talk to the children about adding these numbers together. So we have two cars on this racetrack and three cars on this racetrack. Let's see how many we have all together. That's adding. So we're going to count all of them. One, two, three, four, five. How many cars do we have all together? And of course we have five. Now you can use the little pieces, the little race cars that it comes with, or if you have toys and little manipulatives, that might be um, even better. So I do, I have some cars here. These are um, actually math counting cars. Okay, so they're actually made for activities like this. And you could have them use something like this. So here's two and here's three, and then have them add it up. Two plus three equals five, okay? Or um, also, you can have them um, find their answer. So now that I have um, added them up, I might use some manipulatives to find my answer. I'm gonna oh, grab some numbers from over here. And these numbers are from a Melissa and Doug puzzle. So I would have them find the number five and they can place it inside the box. I am using just a little wooden box here. You could use um, a cookie tray to kind of keep it all together or you could use uh, an art tray. Uh, I have lots of art trays too that we use for things um, that you might see later on in this video but this tray is really really great because it has just a, a very high lip on it and um, so this is perfect for this activity. And then you could just have them put their answer up in the corner or wherever you want to have them put their answer. Okay, so um, then I also have just regular toy cars here. These are just some of my son's cars and we could use those as well. So one, two, plus three obviously. So on this track we're gonna put three equals how many all together? One, two, three, four, five. You might also want to teach the children to start with the bigger number and then count up, okay? That's um, a, a good math strategy for when they're going to try to add quickly. So um, I know I have three, that's my bigger number, then I just continue to count. So I have three, four, five, okay? So teach them to count on instead of always having to start at one. Now, at the beginning, they're going to have to start at one because they're learning the concept. So they're going to have to do one, two, three, four, five. 
But as they continue on, you can say, okay, which number is bigger? Now that we've put our cars on here, three is bigger than two. So we're gonna start with three, say three. Now let's count two more, four, five, okay? All right, let's try one more just to um, give you another example. Okay, this time let's add four and let's just add four and four, okay? Oh no, those ones are not right. This activity, okay, um, this activity also comes with the cars already on it. So for children who are just learning one-to-one -one correspondence, they would um, place cars, if they're just counting, because I told you this was a preschool activity, they would just place the cars directly on the ones that are already on the mat. One, two, three, four. But obviously for our children who are doing addition, they don't need these cards. So let's skip that and let's do four plus five. All right, so on my first track, the kids are going to put four. One. All right, four plus five. So let's start with our bigger number and count up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five plus four or four plus five equals nine. And then and then you just have the children place it in the box. Okay, this next activity is using touch point edition cards. And I have many different touch point edition cards. I'll leave a link below to them. And this month, I am using this set with shamrocks on it because we are in the month of March. But you could use any kind of touch point math cards. I have some that just have smiley faces on them that you can use all year long, or I have ones for other months of the year with different holidays on them. Um, but it, it doesn't really matter which ones you use. Let me just show you how to use it. So, and by the way, if you haven't seen my video on Touchpoint Math, I will try to leave a link below to that video. I did a video a couple of years ago um, on how I teach Touchpoint Math. But anyways, this one is about touch point addition and basically I'm just gonna have them take a card. So here's four, let's add four and one. Okay, so let's say, say they take the card four and the card one. I have some manipulatives in this little basket here. They're just a couple different little shamrocks. And let's see if I can focus there. And I'm gonna have them use these. You could have them use anything you want. A lot of times I have them use little pom-poms. Um, actually, let me grab this. Another thing that you could have them use, these are erasers. So you could have them use erasers. Just so, they just need something small. Um, another thing you could have them use is, these are math cubes. And you might wanna have them use green ones if you were gonna do like this activity, we might do it with green. Um, and basically what you do is you need a manipulative to place on top of each of the touch points when they add, okay? And then I also have here to use with these cards, I have these. This is a plus sign and an equal sign. So we can actually start talking about how we put the numbers into a number sentence. So this means plus and this is equals, okay? So, um, and then you would just use your manipulative. So if I was going to use these um, snap cubes, you have them place it and you count one, two, three, four, well here, I'm going to use the same color, plus one makes how many? One, two, three, four, five. And then you can have them use one of their other cards for their answer, okay? Um, you may want to print out, I like to print out two sets of the cards because you might need, um, like you might need more than one number. But um, like if you wanted to do doubles, so if you wanted to add four plus four or two plus two and so on, you might want to have extra cards. But that is the basic concept of what we're gonna do. And 
let me just show you here. I think what I'm gonna have my kids do because I do have these little clovers is I'm gonna have them use these. So let's change this around and then let's add two and three. My answer is still gonna be five, ha ha. But when they do it, I'm gonna have them use these little clovers and they're just gonna place it on top of the clover. So one, two, three, four, Five. So two plus three equals five. Okay, keeping with my St. Patrick's Day theme, we're gonna do this activity um, when we're practicing our addition. And this is Clover Add to 10. So it has shamrocks in it as well. But this one is a little bit different than just using the cards. The shamrocks look like this and they have addition problems on them. Okay, let me just grab one for an example. And then this activity comes with numbers, so let me put the numbers over here. Okay, and what the children do is they take one of the cards and then they're going to add the two numbers. Now, we can use some manipulatives to do this. I have over here, you can use your snap cubes. I'm gonna show you that or you can use other manipulatives. I have some of these coins that kind of go with my theme for the month. Now again, when you're doing activities, you don't have to theme them, but I enjoy theming everything to the month that we're in um, or the season that we're in. So like we just finished with um, winter, winter activities. Uh, and some Valentine's Day activities for February. And now we've kind of moved into March and we're going to be moving into spring activities soon too. But um, going on from there, uh, let's get into this. So I have three plus one. So you're gonna use your clover here or shamrock, whatever you wanna call it, and you're going to count. So they're gonna use their coins. And on this side of the shamrock, I'm gonna put three. One, two, Three, and on this side, I'm gonna put one more, and we're gonna add them together. Three plus one more equals four, and then I'm gonna find my answer and place it in my shamrock, okay? So that's how the kids will do this. So let's put this one off to the side, and let's try a different one. How about this one? This one is four plus four. So instead of using my coins here, I actually, here, actually, let's move this. Okay. Instead of using my um, coins, I'm going to use, I have some other shiny little manipulatives here, and these are just little foam, um, I don't know, they're from the dollar store. They're just little foam toys, I guess. I don't know. And I'm gonna have them use these, and they are actually going to drag it out. So they're gonna count like this. One, two, three, four on this side, Oop, can you see that? And then they're going to put four of them on this side, one. All right, so then we have four plus four equals eight. All right, let's see. I also think that if you don't have those kind of manipulatives with this activity, I think the snap cubes are actually a really good choice. So here's another card, or another shamrock card, and this time we're gonna use our snap cubes. Now I'm gonna have the kids just use green ones. I have two different shades of green here. I have light green, and then I have like a dark green. So we'll probably just use those, and what you can have them do is you can have them snap them together to make a tower. Okay, for this next activity, we are going to break out a handy dandy puzzle. This is a number puzzle by Melissa and Doug, and I really like this one because it goes all the way up to number 20. So a lot of number puzzles only go to 10. So this one can be very helpful if you are going to be using um, teen numbers, okay? Um, we're not, but I do like to use this puzzle a lot for the for that reason. But let me show you how I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna use it with these pizza counting 
um, this pizza counting activity center. This comes from my early learners math curriculum. And this is not from, I do have a unit on addition and I'm gonna show you an activity from that unit in a minute. But first, this activity actually comes from the first unit just on counting to 10. And we are gonna make it into an addition activity, of course. So um, this one has these pizza cards, okay? And they have to count the pepperonis and then they have to match up the same number on the bottom. Well, we're going to add the pepperonis, okay? So let's start with something easy. Let's do two and three, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're gonna do the actual um, intended use for these cards is we are going to count and then we're going to cover up our answer. So I have two pepperonis here, so I'm gonna cover up the two with a, let's see, I'm going to use my coins, my shamrock coins. Okay, and then here I have three, so I'm going to cover up three with my shamrock coins. Okay, so that's the, actually how you're supposed to use these cards, but now we're going to make this into addition. So now we're going to add. All right, so I have two um, pepperonis plus three more, one, two, three, four, five equals how many and you can have them use their fingers and they can touch them if they need to and they're going to write out the um, problem down here so we're going to use our numbers on our puzzle take out the two so here we have two plus three pepperonis on this side three. Oh, you can't even see that let me scooch out all right so i have two here plus three here equals how many all together? I just added them. Two and three makes five, so let's grab our five. Okay, so then again, another fun way to um, do the same basic concept, but this time they're kind of matching up the, the digits to the cards, okay? Okay, this next activity is from my Early Learners Math Curriculum, the Unit on Addition, and this one uh, comes with cards, a mat, some fish, <laughs> and I'm gonna also use it with my puzzle. Okay, so, um, oh, and then if you want a fishing rod, you can do that as well. I, I grabbed this fishing rod, it comes from a, a different puzzle that I have, but you don't have to actually have a fishing rod, but if you want to, you can, because this is called Fishing for More. And what the kids do is they pick a card. So I'm gonna pick this card. And this card says two and four. Two of these fish and four of these fish. So what the kids are gonna do is they're going to go fishing and they're going to have to find two of this kind of fish. And what I did is I um, attached paper clips to the fish cards so that they could actually go fishing. If you don't have a fishing rod, um, then they can just pick them up with their hands and put them in the fish bowl. So I found two, and then I need to find four of the trout here. I think this is a trout. So we got one. I won't watch you actually make, I won't make you watch me actually fish for all of them. Let me get them on here. Three, four, okay. Um, but you can see how the paper clip, you know, works perfectly. So, all right, so now I put my two and my four. Now I'm gonna add the fish together. Well, how many fish does that make all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. That makes six all together. And so my last step is I'm gonna use this puzzle here and I'm going to grab the number six, place it on the top of my fish bowl. So I have six fish. Two plus four equals six. All right, and then they can do it again. So let's put my, my fish over here. Basically what they would do is they would take another card Put that card up and fish for those fish <laughs> and add them up. Okay, so you can see just the different numbers that they would be adding. They're basically adding all things to 10. Okay guys, we are on the very last activity I'm gonna show in this video. And this is called Touch Point Edition Flip. This is the bag that I keep it in. Um, and it comes with a direction card so I really like that and it says flip over two cards so I'm going to flip over two cards and place them on the squares and the mat now I already kind of showed you a touch point activity 
But this is another um, touch point edition. And I like to use touch point edition when I'm first teaching math because it helps them to visualize the number or the touch points on each number so that when they do add um, and they are given two numbers like the numerals and they have to add them, um, they can visualize it in their head. Okay. Uh, if you want more information about how to, to um, do touch point math, again, try to find that video on my channel. I'll try to link it below. Uh, I did a video about it years ago. All right, so for this one, um, you can um, use the dots to add. So they can use their finger and they can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Um, you can have them use manipulatives like I have over here. I have some smiley faces, so we can put smiley faces in there when we add. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we can use those. And then down here, they're supposed to use a dry erase marker to write their answer in the squares. Or you can use manipulatives, like I still have this puzzle here. So they can do three plus four equals seven. Okay. Now, another thing that I really like to use, and I want to just show you this really quick, and then this video will be done, <laughs> is in these little um, touch points, I like to use Play-Doh. And they can do, this is just some green Play-Doh, and they can do little spots of Play-Doh. Okay, put, put, have them put Play-Doh on each of the dots. And then as they count, they push the Play-Doh down. So it's like physical touch for counting. This is great for kids with special needs, I feel like, um, because it just gives them a sensory step to do. Okay, so um, you would put the Play-Doh on and then they would count like this. One, two, they would push it down as they count. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so three plus four more equals seven. Okay, there you go, guys. That are, that's all the activities. If you want to download any of these for yourself, I'll leave links below in the description box. And if you have any comments, please engage with me in the comment section, and I will try to check those out. I will have to approve your comments first, and then I will get back to you. But um, again, thanks so much for watching, and we'll be in touch. Bye.